soon, so get ready. Here comes the start. Oh my gosh. Hello everybody on YouTube and WCR and ever, everywhere else you're hearing this from. This is Rain Man, aka Freak, uh, and I'm bringing you this, uh, I guess, audio of the best of five series between PGSPS Shriek, that's Pentagram G-Shock Poker Strategy, that apparently doesn't fit in a tag, so it's, uh, you know, an acronym, uh, versus Delta Ben Q Cowie. This is the first game, and it is on Terranist Stand. This is for the Panda G League, I think, pandagleague.com. Um, these are, again, the Grand Finals, best of five, and here we go. So as you can see, the map is Terran Stand, Kawi spawning on the top with his typical Night Elf in yellow. Shriek on the bottom, dark green is human, doing pretty standard builds so far. Actually, I'll take it back a little bit different, as he's getting a fast farm uh, and power building the Altar of Kings, as opposed to getting the standard Altar Barracks farm build. He's doing fast altar and a farm, and then a late barracks, which will allow him to get a fast Dark Mage and Militia Creep, the lower camps, get level 2 really fast, get an expansion really fast. It's just about time for him. It's about just getting everything done as quickly as possible. And Shriek is really uh, a player that... Um, he's got a really perfect, I would say, it's the best word I can come up with, early game. He's got everything planned out uh, really, really well. I mean, you can see he's sending a militia up. Like, he, he, a, a, a peasant returns lumber, he turns it to militia just to walk up a couple feet, and then turns it back to a peasant, and then starts making his, his barracks and what. I mean, he's got a very, very refined, refined early game. I mean, he's got, for all the maps, and for all, you know, the builds and whatnot, uh, basically for a while, um, probably, I would say, close to a year ago, maybe half a year ago, uh, his biggest practice partner was, and this is in his own words, you know, uh, his best practice partner was Computer Normal, because he would just perfect uh, his builds and his creep patterns and everything early on, and just get them ironed down so well that he can make the creeps do whatever he wants, and get the builds, you know, perfect and everything, you know, you, see, you, can, you can see his, his farm finishes, and he's got these militia coming down, and they're rallying to his Archmage, his first, his first footman's coming out, and you're gonna watch, he's gonna get Lightning Shield on one of his units, there we go, Lightning Shield on the Archmage, and he can use that to creep, so you can see the water metal comes up, it's tanking everything, you can see this Lightning Shield, he's using it to creep a lot faster, this rogue is going to go down, you know, the level 3 creep dying. He's going to send that down and start creeping out the Renegade Wizards. He's got everything just timed out perfectly. You know, you can see he's killing, he's killing these apprentice wizards, apprentice wizards now. He hits it twice, which is how many times it takes for the Lightning Shield to wear off and then kill the rest of these creeps. I mean, this entire thing is just ironed down to perfection. He picks off the two items. Really good items, by the way. Manual of Health, probably the best item you can get for your Archmage. I mean, his main weakness is low HP and getting that plus 50 is very helpful. And then he gets plus two all stats, which I've believed for a long time. Circuit Nobility. Circuit of Nobility is the best that you can get from those kind of camps. So he's got his three water elementals out. And he's creeping out this orange camp, bringing more militia in. You can tell by the really, really late tech, the fact that he keeps using the militia over and over, that he's not going to be teching, he's going to be fast expanding. If your goal is to tech, you do it really quickly. Uh, so obviously, and besides, Shriek is really, really well known for expanding, basically. Uh, so the water metal dies, he's going to wait for enough mana to get another one up. He's going to go creep out his expansion afterwards. So he's sending those uh, peasants back so they can keep chopping lumber and get enough get enough wood to start an expansion. He's just at three farms right now. He's going to try to go for that fourth eventually. And he's going to pick off that wisp. Good kill right there. Still not level three. He's going to go for that now. He's going to go for this lower green camp. Looks in the Kobold Tunnel there. Meanwhile, Kawi's just been creeping out with uh, his now four archers in Dark Ranger. A fifth one, I believe, is en route. Uh, no, maybe not. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter, but he's, he's picked up a lot of skeletons, creeping out a bunch of these little green camps, uh, getting himself a bunch of skeletons. And here comes actually a Creepjack on Shriek, uh, but Shriek's got a Water Metal Summon. But here comes the folks on the Footman, folks on the archers as well. Both players are trying to get a kill. Shriek might lose a Footman if he's not careful, down 100 hit points, but he's going to pull that one away. And he's actually just going to send these three Footmen on a crash course for those two archers, saying, you're never going to turn those around. Meanwhile, I'm just going to fight you with this Footman. And he's going to try to Lightning Shield kill all these uh, these skeletons. And he gets one of them, which I guess that's worth something. And uh, actually, another Lightning Shield goes off. And this, this time it's the Creeps doing. Uh, and he's just, you know, the skeletons are dying off. So that whole early game creeping with the skeletons has pretty much gone away. Uh, but, you know, Shriek had to spend some mana summoning a new Water Elemental. He's only got enough mana for one more this time. Uh, but, <coughs> Kawi's back to creeping some more. Shriek still has no expansion, so he is, in fact, teching, realizing, okay, maybe I misspoke, maybe he did plan on teching, or maybe it was just, mm, I don't have the map control to get an expansion up, I'll just, you know, cut my losses for now. So, actually, ironically, Kawi's actually teching slower than Shriek is, which really seems kind of odd. Yeah, he had a Hunter's Hall planned out, I guess, ready to, to push. Uh, I guess what, what Kawi was trying to do here is he was trying to say, okay, 
I know humans like to fast expand on this map, it's why I went Dark Ranger for that early game presence. He built a fast Huntress Hall just in case Shriek wanted to expand, he could make Huntresses and push with those uh, against the expansion. But he sees that Shriek is not expanding, or he hadn't yet. Um, I don't think he knows that Shriek was Tekken per se, but kind of just an odd early start for both players, really late tech on each on each player. Both of them just trying to uh, trying to do something else, but realizing it's not going to work out, and thus, you know, teching is a fallback plan. So, Shriek going ahead and pushing into Cowie's base, doing some pretty good damage, killing a, a skeleton, he's trying to knock it down, won't quite do it. There we go, actually, he's going to kill it, will he? Yes, there we go, some free experience there. He sees the Tree of Life being built, and he's got Defend on his footman, which will make him very hard to kill by archers, but with the two hunters out, it can be deadly. Uh, he does have a Whisper, he's going to detonate that. has to, uh cancel his expansion and detonate another wisp and I believe Shriek might have actually denied the experience on that water elemental which is a pretty sweet move I uh, actually managed to get the last hit on his own unit to deny experience very very nice there good micro Shriek's definitely a good player he just doesn't play that much anymore doesn't practice but he's you know, still a skilled player as far as that goes anyway Kao doing some more craving with his two hunts and three archers I must have yeah he did lose one earlier um, but he's just creeping out he's got level two and a half picks up uh, criminals lagging <coughs> so that's going to take a bit. There we go. He's back in. Mantle limit of Intel plus three. Not a great drop, but whatever. And now Shriek's going to try to kill this Wisp off. Does get it. <laughs> Level three and a half versus two and a half. And Cowie's trying once more to expand. He's putting that tree of life in that hidden spot. Shriek did manage to cancel it the first time, but you know, you try and try again, and eventually it works. Mountain King coming out now for Shriek. <coughs> he's only just got these, what, five oh, footmen, and he's getting the blacksmith up. And we're just going to wait to see what he's going to do with Tier 2. There we go, Arcane Sanctum going up. He is not power building that, but he could if he wanted to. He's just, I guess, not going for an early push strategy right now. Ancient of Lore going up for Cowie. I think he's going to start as another one. There we go, Double Lore getting started for Cowie. Shriek uh, got a clarity on his Arcane Age, regenerating a bunch of mana. Ooh, EXP to him. Nice drop for the uh, Dark Ranger there. Just catapulted himself in, in the front runner of uh, experience now. He's got a bunch of skeletons also from creeping that camp. And Shriek's going to go for the Tree of Life once more. He's going to have to turn on a footman as his archers start going to work on the foot. But uh, looks like he's going to be okay. Makes a cancel once more. Going for focus on, on Huntress. Will he get it? It's going to be close. Nope, he gets healed by a Moomo. He's going for an archer now. That one might die. There we go. Kills the archer. Going for another one now. He's down a half HP. He's just running back. Looks like he's going to live. Um, Shriek markers a low HP footman out. Dispel. A detonate going off from those water metals. But not really doing enough to do anything. Just kind of a waste of 60 gold right now. So Cowie's pretty... I guess he's got more lumber than I than I thought he would. I guess canceling that tree of life gave him a, a big boost that I wasn't expecting. So Shrieks is GG.